everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm the founder of Code of the Future and today we're going to be continuing with the Rust course where I'm teaching you all about Rust for beginners. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to the channel. But with that said, I'll put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. So in the previous video, we looked at user and console input. So how you can input something into your console and store it, I guess. And this will be something that we'll use later when programming a guessing game. But for now, we're just gonna move on to what is known as command line arguments. It follows something very similar to what we did in the previous video. Uh, and it's just something that I wanted to show you because it's a pretty cool feature. Um, so this is why it's got its own video. Uh, and also because the other video before was getting quite long. So I didn't wanna bombard you with too much information. But anyway, we're gonna get into our tutorial 11 main file. Here we are, and we're gonna look at command line arguments. As I say in all my videos, my code is on my GitHub if you need to check it out. In the previous video, we learned about prelude and what is included in prelude and what's not, and how you import a specific library outside of prelude. Now we're gonna do the same thing here, and we're gonna use, get from the standard library, we're going to get env, and that's just something that we're gonna to use today in our coding. I'm just gonna get rid of print hello world. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called args for arguments, and I'm going to create a vector. Now, vectors are something that we're gonna get onto later in this course, um, and they're really simple, so you don't need to worry too much about what I'm saying here today, um, but I'll, I'll explain it. And then inside here, we're gonna say string. So what this is currently doing is it's going to create a variable called args. We're assigning it to this type, and this is a type of vectors with made comprised of string strings. We're gonna let it equal, we're gonna take the env module colon colon args dot collect. We'll learn a little bit more about vectors and a little bit more about modules and packages in Rust. Um, but all you need to know is we're using this library called env and we are using this method here, this function. Now, if we print our args, we'll cargo run, just gonna clear that. Now, before I do that, I just realized we are working in vectors, and if you remember anything from arrays, we need to put this in here, it's something that I always forget, and that allows you to print out a vector. So, so we're gonna cargo run, but after cargo run, we're gonna write some something. So we're gonna say, hello, cargo run, hello. Now, if we press enter, notice that this array is produced. So we have the target of where our current source code is. So what we're coding in tutorial 11. And then after that, we have the word hello. So, you know, I could do it again, say cargo run. Hello world. How are you? And notice we have an even longer array because it's separated each of the ver each of the words, which we have separated by spaces. Um, into different entries in, in this in this array. Now, this is slightly different to collecting user input because when we collected user input, we ran, we did cargo run, and then we had a cursor and our cursor started blinking. So we typed something in, we press enter, and then it stored that value. This is slightly different, but I thought it was a really nice way of showing you two different ways of being able to collect so it's user input. Now, what I'm gonna show you is how we can use this and collect we don't really want this here you know this is just the pathway we don't really want that but it'd be interesting if we had this so let's say you know i wanted to type cargo run one we'd have one so let's try and collect you know let's try get this instead of this the first entry in, in our array so what we're going to do is we're going to say i'm going to say input but first i need to make it into a variable so let input now we're going to take our args, which uh, is our vectors. In fact, this is our, what you see here, our vector. Um, I'm going to say one. So that takes the second entry. Remember in Rust, zero is the first entry and one is the second. And I'm just going to clone it. Now you don't need to worry too much about what this clone command does other than that it, it clones. There are, there's something, you know, there's a bit more behind dot clone in Rust, but, but for the time being, we're gonna skip over it. So instead of args here, I'm gonna say input. In fact, I'm just gonna copy both of them. 
input we'll save and I'm gonna cargo run and I'm gonna say hello as simple as ah an error again it's because this here I copied it this is a, an individual value it's not uh, an array or a vector so I don't need this here again like I say in all of my videos I quite enjoy when errors come up because then you can see how we handle them so again cargo run hello semicolons of course it's semicolons <laughs> cargo run hello let's hope it works there we go and we've printed out hello so that's a way of being able to take user input uh, using command line arguments um, it's a little bit this video is a little bit shorter than the previous video but I want to show you the two different ways of being able to do that and also just how cool it is really so the final little thing that I want to show you is that you could do a little thing say okay well if our input is hello we're going to print hey what's up like hey how are you something like that hey what's up or hey how, how are you just notice that should be two equal signs because we're saying if input which is our variable up here is identically equal to this string then we will do this again if you don't know uh, anything about if statements in rust then i explain all that in a previous video we're gonna do cargo run and we're gonna do hello and there we go hey what's up comes up so command line arguments are pretty cool something that i quite enjoy in rust um, but yeah, that has been command line arguments in Rust. So that was the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you aren't already subscribed to the channel. Comment if you fancy commenting. I also have a donation page and a Patreon set up for exclusive behind the scenes footage, uh, if you fancy checking that out. Um, but yeah, as I said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.